G'day guys, so last night I hit up a savers um, at 5 o'clock all the way till 6 o'clock. It was just a good hour of picking. I normally don't hit them up um, late at night because, you know, I have the idea that um, all the stock during the day is gone because they do, you know, they they update the shelves at 12-ish o'clock and then everyone else gets all the really good stuff. But um, to my surprise, I picked up a lot of really good stuff. Um, most of it was polo shirts and in particular Ralph Lauren polos. But, um, yeah, just making this video just to share with you guys typical stuff I find in a normal um, day at thrifting. So, um, let's get straight into it. So, number one is this Ralph Lauren polo shirt. It's a nice pink pony one with a green shirt. Um, this one is a 100% cotton extra large polo right there. Now, this one, um, I paid uh, $6.39. And I'll sell this one for anywhere between twenty to twenty-five dollars. Um, next up is uh, this really nice, hundred um, percent silk Tommy Hilf, uh, sorry Tommy Bahama um, Hawaiian style shirt. Um, this one is extra large. It says five ninety-nine, but um, I paid four dollars and uh, seventy nine cents with the twenty percent discount, um, and ones internationally sell anywhere between thirty five all the way up to fifty dollars. So that's a really nice one there. Um, yeah, this one keep an eye out for this one if it has a floral pattern on there. This one also has um, some really nice buttons there, like the wood buttons um, but that's a nice one the next one I've got to show you guys is uh, this really nice um, custom fit uh, polo by Ralph Lauren again size large right there now this one um, is the Yacht Club um, one because it has the Yacht Club emblem right there um, now this one I think cost it says three ninety nine, but um, I picked it up for uh, three dollars and nineteen cents, and I can sell this one um, from twenty two dollars and twenty nine cents and upwards. Something exactly the same sold for around that twenty three dollars. So that's a good one. Next up is this. I um, recommend you guys keep an eye out for this brand because they're a much higher end brand. They're in, you know, they're harder to find, but if you do find them, they're really good. It's um, Paul and Shark. Now, this one is a size extra, extra large polo shirt. Um, there's the emblem there. Now, this one is 100% uh, pure cotton. I paid, it says $7.99, but um, this one, I, I paid $6.39 for. Um, and one exactly the same sold, well not exactly the same, it was actually in a worse condition and it didn't have like this um, thing there under the tag. Um, and that sold for about $41, so I reckon I can easily get $41 for this. Considering its size, it's pretty big. Also has a Paul and Shark logo there on the, on the sleeve as well. <clears throat> but that's a really nice piece. I actually um, come across this brand uh, once in a zip up jacket and I think I just sold that one for around $45 um, to someone in the UK and I picked that up for about three bucks so they easily go under the radar at the um, savers they don't realize I don't think and, um, you can make some big profit on them next up um, this one was listed for ten dollars but I got up eight dollars for the 20% um, discount um, here it is it's a Polo Sport Ralph Lauren, a size large, 100% polyester. Um, now this one, they say that it's um, can be a cycle or a bicycle shirt <coughs> top, and it's also like a soccer top as well. But it has Polo Sport along the side there. Um, this one cost me yeah eight dollars, and one sold exactly the same for fifty two dollars and forty four cents. So I'll put it up for that, and um, I'll hopefully get something similar to that price. Now, um, I picked up two Tommy Hilfiger polos, both medium size. 
a nice black one. <clears throat> uh, this is a good brand to look out for. I'm not getting this brand, you know, um, as as much as I I like to. Like if I see a Tommy Hill figure, sometimes I don't pop on it because um, you know they don't have a good resale rate sometimes. But um, this one, this in particular polo shirt, it didn't have any buttons there. So um, I'll disclose that in the listing. But I saw that one and this one together as a lot. This one's a size medium as well, nice green. There it is. Tommy Hill figure. It's got all the buttons. It's probably a really good condition polo shirt. Now together for these two, I paid um, paid seven dollars and ninety eight cents, and I was thinking just to put them both up there for around thirty dollars. Uh, for a best offer. Then um, I'm doing a, a lot on these two items as well. They're both <coughs> Polo by Ralph Lauren in size largest. Now this one here is a nice purple one. It's just a normal um, Ralph Lauren. Ones with the nice colours like the bright, you know, greens and the and the purples sell really well. So um, there's that one. I'm gonna. <coughs> sell together with this one, this green one, it's a custom fit one. I've had experience with um, selling multiple polos together. Um, I sold two large polos um, recently. Um, the, I had a pink and a black one. Um, the pink one was a custom fit and the black one was just a normal one like I have here. And um, I sold the two for $40. Um, so I'll probably do the same with them two. I paid. <clears throat> together, eight dollars and seventy-eight cents, and turn that into forty bucks. So that's not bad. Last but not least is um, this one here. Now this is like a sport coat blazer. Um, I got it on the mannequin already. Um, because all these um items I've got, you know, the measurements done for them and everything, and um. I've figured out how much I paid for them and how much I predict to get for them. All I've got to do now is just take the photos and chuck them on eBay. So this is a really nice uh, Ralph Lauren <coughs> sports coat. There's the tag. Um, now this one is a 100% virgin wool. Um, a size uh, 42R. You probably can't see that. But, um, but yep, it's the, the Bradford model. Um, I haven't seen one exactly the same in regards to the model, the Bradford model, but um, some similar sold for around 80 or so, but um, I'm going to put it up for 50 um, with the best offer, and I should get it quickly you know, moved out. It's got, um, it's got double the back here, and um, for this one I paid, I think it was up for $13, but with the discount, I got it for around um, ten dollars and and thirty nine cents. I'll turn that into fifty. So that was good. Um, so that's about it for today's haul video. Um, so altogether, I paid a total of um, fifty five dollars and ninety cents, uh, and I plan to turn that into around three hundred dollars to be exact, about two hundred and ninety two dollars and seventy cents. So. That worked out pretty well. That was only about an hour of work, and um, I, yeah, turned around that profit. So, really happy with that. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, and um, I'll see you in the next.